to spark up a bowl and tuck yourselves in. Once upon a time is about to begin. This is the story, story of, of a, a little girl. matchmaker. <laughs> a little match silly girl. Little match girl. Yeah. That, and she lives in this little town and it's snowing and it's the last day of the year. And it's cold. And so cold. Terribly cold. Yeah. And this little girl, she doesn't have any shoes on. She's barefoot. She doesn't have a hat on. She's just roaming the streets. Poor little girl. She's not roaming, though. She's on a mission. She's trying to sell matches. Mm -hmm. This is her goal, right? Yeah. So she's a little girl selling matches on the street. And last day of the year. And it's terribly, terribly cold. And she left home with slippers. But she lost them. Because there were two carriages that were going way too fast. And they almost ran her over, so she's dodging these carriages mm -hmm. uh, and lost her slippers. And they're so big because they were her mom's. And this little boy takes one of them, and she can't find the other one. But the little boy had said that, man, these are big ass shoes. He would use that slipper as a cradle for one day when he got old and had a kid. Yeah. Match girl. Yeah. She's not selling. She, she sell didn't it. sell anything all day. Not even. No one even gave her like a penny. Not even anything. This little girl, no hat and no shoes on. No one gives a shit. Don't give her anything. Give her something. They just walk by. They don't, they don't care. But they won't give her any money. She yeah. can't go home without any money because her dad's going to kick her out <laughs> if she doesn't come home with some money. Because they live in a house that has holes in its roof. That's the kind. <laughs> this is a poor girl. That's and her dad right. wants her to bring home money. Yeah. Because they ain't got <laughs> They live in a really <laughs> house. Yeah, they don't even have. They came by her shoes to go wear her mom's big shoes. All the lights were on in the houses because mm -hmm. it, was it was New Year's New Eve. New Year's Eve, and everybody's, she remembered that. Everybody's partying on New Year's Eve. They they don't even see her because they're out. You know, they're celebrating. They're too focused on themselves. And so she huddles in an alleyway mm -hmm. in between two of these buildings. Yeah, and she's really cold. Yeah. And basically, her house. It's just as cold because all her house is is a roof with some holes oh, in it. That's... It's just the wind howls through the holes in the mm. roof. Some of those holes in the roof were filled with rags and straw, right? Mm hmm. But didn't help. Didn't make a difference. It really didn't. I mean, it's cold. If you can't tell by now, this chick is not in a good way. And she's now feeling it. I mean, her fingers mm -hmm. are turning blue. Yeah, and she sits on her feet to try to warm them, but it didn't really help. Yeah, so. She thinks, I should light a match. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not cold. Maybe I'll find a penny. So she strikes it, and it sputters. So it was a wonderful little light. I mean, it was it was great. She could feel the warmth from the light. Mm -hmm. And it, she took this, and she, I guess, uh, started hallucinating. She could, like, like, see a fireplace. A fireplace, it was brass, so it was a shiny fireplace. It was a, a rich fireplace. Oh, yeah, it was a fancy it was a fancy fireplace. And so she stretched out her toes. When she moves her feet to get the, the warmth of it, it kind of oh. takes her out of that, and the match goes out. So she snaps back at him, and she's like, match went out, I'll light she another one. She needed a blue light. She needed a blue light. Oh, <laughs> So she lights another match. This time... This time the wall just, like, disappears, and she sees into this house and this magnificent table with, like, it had a feast and a big roasted duck in the middle of it. The roasted goose uh, had, like, a knife and a fork in it. You know, it was getting ready to yeah. be served up. it was about to be carved. And it jumps off the table at her. That sounds to terrifying her. to me. Like, it just, like, walks over. Like, you know, kind of moves because it's, it's roasted, so it moves, and she's like, I'm going to eat some of this. <laughs> she's like... It's waddling over She's, like, you. beckoning it, like, yeah, come she's on. Like, All right, here we go. I'm going to get me some of this roasted duck. But at that, the roasted goose came at her, and it snapped her out of it, and mm -hmm. match goes out. And the duck's gone, and she's just there with the thick, damp, cold wall. So, she does it again. Strikes another one. I wonder how many matches this little girl has. She's like, a bundle. She's, she's losing money at this point. She lights the third match. She lights another match. And she sees this beautiful, huge Christmas tree. With a bunch of taper candles on it. Boom. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's uh, so beautiful and it's, it's decorated better than any of like any of the trees that she's ever seen through the rich merchant's glass doors. It was so pretty and she went to reach for one of the ornaments. And as she did that, the match went out. Yeah. And all the lights, all the taper candles that she had envisioned uh, went up into the sky in her mind, I guess. She's hallucinating. Um, and became the stars. Yeah. And one of the stars... It was a shooting star. They left a trail of fire. She sees the shooting star, the falling star. And she's she says to herself, someone's dying. Yeah. Because her grandma, the only person who had ever loved her, had told her that when a star falls, it means that a soul is going up to yep. be with God. It's an old wives' tale. She lit another match at that point. Yep. Uh, and I guess she's still trying to warm herself up. Isn't cold still. Yeah. Let's not forget that she's in an alleyway. Cold, freezing. Yeah, and every time she lights a match, something cool happens. Something amazing happens. So, uh, let's keep it going. <laughs> yeah. This time she lights a match, and... It brightens the area around her, and she sees her grandma, and she's bright and brilliant and and beautiful and happy and pleasant, right? Yeah. She's not scaring the girl. She's seeing no. a dead grandma in a loving way. <laughs> yeah. In this bright light, like an angel, but it's her grandma. Yeah. And she, like, hugs onto her, and she's like, don't leave me, don't leave me. As soon as the light goes out, you're going to leave me just like it did with the fireplace and the feast with the roasted duck and the Christmas tree. She knew that the match was going to go out. And in order to keep her with her, she lit the whole bundle in her hands. And <laughs> you light a bun bundle of matches, it becomes a big flame. But it bloomed into a really bright light. It was brighter than the, the noonday sun. Mm -hmm. um, and her grandmother took her and they floated up into space above earth and there was mm -hmm. where there was no uh cold or hunger or pain mm -hmm. there was just joy and happiness with god yep and or whatever you believe because everything's made up <laughs> <laughs> so it's now new year's day mm -hmm. sunshine is shining on that alleyway the sun shines down on the poor little girl, pale cheeks. She's smiling and leaning against the wall. Yeah, she's uh, frozen to death. She on the froze last. those little matches didn't do shit. <laughs> I mean, she lit a big old bunch of them, too. Like I said, it was an explosion. Maybe she went towards the light. You know? Yeah, and people were all like, oh, look, she tried to warm herself. And they're all sad pretended to be sad mm -hmm. whatever the emotions were they felt those emotions but they did not know <laughs> that the little girl the bliss that she felt yeah and like the all pure... the cool shit that happened right before yeah. she died and then boom she goes uh the end yeah the end <laughs>